So this time, we need to write down the quadratic equation in expanded form with integer coefficients with the following roots. OK, so this time we've been given the roots and we want to write down what the equation is. OK, now we want to use um, our understanding of the sum product of the roots and how they relate to the quadratic equation. So for the first one, we've got the sum of the roots. So alpha plus beta is 8 take away 3, so 5. And alpha beta is the product of the roots, so 8 times minus 3, so minus 24. So the quadratic equation would be z squared take away the sum of the roots, so take away 5z, plus the product of the roots equals 0. And so that is the quadratic equation that I need that has those two roots. OK, right, let's have a look at the next one. So we've got 0 and minus 9. So we've got 0 plus negative 9, so minus 9. And alpha beta is 0 times minus 9, so 0. So you've got z squared take away the sum of the roots times z, so plus 9z, plus alpha beta equals 0. And so that is the quadratic equation I need. OK. So number 3, alpha plus beta, is 3 halves plus 5 thirds. OK, so we've got uh, 3, 3, so 9, 19 over 6. And then you've got alpha beta, so 3 halves times 5 thirds is going to be 5 halves. So our quadratic equation is z squared take away alpha plus beta times z plus alpha beta equals 0. Now, this quadratic doesn't have integer coefficients, so I need to multiply through by 6 in order to get there. So I'll have 6z squared take away 19z uh, plus 15 equals 0. And so that's the quadratic equation uh, that has those two as its roots. OK, so once you kind of get into the habit of using alpha plus beta and alpha beta, then it becomes much more straightforward. Right, number four, eight is repeated. So we've got eight plus eight, so uh, 16. And then eight times eight is 64. So z squared take away alpha plus beta z plus alpha beta equals zero. And so that's my quadratic equation. Okay. Now, this method becomes particularly useful when the roots are complex. So we've got 4 plus 3i and 4 minus 3i. So we need to add them together. So 4 plus 3i plus 4 minus 3i, which of course is just 8. And then the product, so 4 plus 3i times 4 minus 3i. You get 4 times 4, which is 16. You're going to get minus 12i and plus 12i, which cancel one another out. Then 3i times minus 3i is going to be plus 9. And so you get 25. So z squared take away alpha plus beta z plus alpha beta equals 0. And there's the quadratic equation that will have those as its roots.